Hello, my name is Nihar Jenga, and I'm a senior at Vandegrift High School in Austin, Texas. I'm planning on studying environmental studies or environmental science, something along the lines of that, as a major in college. For my Borlaug Ruan International Internship, I worked with ICRASAT, or the International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics. Specifically, I worked with the Learning Systems Unit at the headquarters in Patancheru, India. When I first joined this internship, I was expecting that I would find some breakthrough um, with the correlation between climatic variables like temperature and food security. But when I did preliminary research on the data that was available, I found that there wasn't adequate data on climatic variables like temperature to be able to correlate to food security. And that really opened my eyes to the practicalities of research and discussing with Dr. Ravula, I learned the crucial skill of finding questions from available data rather than trying to find data that might not exist for really ambitious questions. So I began to look at the food insecurity data that Dr. Ravula's team co collected around Telangana the state, the Indian state of Telangana. And what I began to notice is that the data was separated into tribal, peri-urban and urban areas. And once I saw that, I realized with a little brainstorming session with Dr. Ravula, my wonderful mentor, that I wanted to look at whether or not there was a significant difference in food insecurity between those different types of areas. So after that, I read up on FIES to get a good understanding of what a literature review is, to get the general scientific conversation of the food insecurity experience scale, which was the method being used to uh, quantify or indicate the amount of food insecurity in these areas. And so once reading upon that, I sort of understood what FIES entailed, but I didn't quite know how to analyze the data that was in the spreadsheets that Dr. Ravula gave me from the data collected uh, by her team. And so after a little clarification with Dr. Ravula and her colleague Josna, I was able to then analyze uh, the data for percentages under each threshold of the FIES. Since FIES is a continuum um, indicating the value or thresholds of food insecurity from none to mild to moderate to severe rather than a single numerical value that can be outputted. And so once I did that, the most shocking result to me was definitely the fact that before COVID, um, I don't, we, we didn't necessarily get the uh, data for during and after COVID, which is something that I definitely plan to do um, in my time after the internship. But before COVID, the most shocking statistic that I found from my analysis of the data was the fact that tribal areas have a much higher percentage, almost 10% of severe food insecurity out of the people that were reported um, as compared to um, peri-urban, which had only around 1.5%, um, and urban, which had around 4.5%. And this really opened my eyes into the possibility for policy changes, whether it be the state of Telangana or the country of India that could be used to support these tribal areas because they really do have a relatively high percentage of food insecurity. And it's in the best interest to be able to support the people in these tribal areas to have good food security. Another thing I plan to do um, with the data is look at correlations with other variables like gender to be able to possibly identify any other uh, striking differences um, in demographics versus food insecurity. In general, the Borlaug Ruan International Internship was very rewarding to me. One, because I found it very um, unique that I had immersion in a perspective different than the American one that I was that I grew up in, whether it was the data or the conversations that I had with Dr. Ravula, and also just um, having this go towards my professional goal of wanting to be in the environmental justice field 
learning about how different people in different areas have different access to resources in case, uh, in this case, specifically food. Last but not least, I just want to say a big thank you to Dr. Ravula and Josna for really helping me throughout analyzing this data, getting this project set up, and the staff at World Food Prize, Ms. Picard and Mr. Kautsky, for setting all this up. Thank you very much.